because when in my research and reading up about the mill, there was a lot of class disparity, and uh, it was, and this went on like into the 80s or 90s. I mean, you know, the mill situation, and you know, it was pretty the whole labor, cheap labor issues and such. So these pieces came out of the idea of the class difference, and that's why I chose these different fabrics. But I was looking also at the garments as signifiers of social status and social and things that we cover ourselves with, which seems to be like such a an issue in our consumer world for some people. Not for all, but, it, but this was my gentle way of talking about the package versus the living and the inner. So it was an outer inner, uh, floral stripe, more utilitarian patterns, more ornate patterns. So it was just, uh, and more often than not, people I don't think get, unless they read my statement, that it is trying to address these issues. Because on the other hand, I think they're kind of playful and whimsical because, you know, it's, it's a big skirt apron. <laughs> With a bunch of green things coming out of this thing. These pieces, uh, the natural elements, fire, water, uh, earth, and air, uh, are a revisit to what I had been thinking about and working on in graduate school 10, uh, ten plus years ago. And I wanted to return to that and make these as simply as possible, which just having tea stain fabric versus the many layers and hours of wrapping and painting the insides and outsides and the inners. I mean, it was a much yes, more direct experience with the fabric and the design. I wanted them to be as geometric and basic shape as possible but to depict my ideas about fire, uh, energy, and uh, enthusiasm, water, intuitiveness, and creativity. I'm an abstract painter, and I thought that would be a, when I paint, I like to work in a series. I like to have one idea, one theme, and explore it in many, many different, uh, you know, many different images. So I thought, well, I'm going to think about creationism because it, it, it. I think there's a validity to it, and 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 I started by creationism by thinking about it in terms of the biblical story from Genesis, which of course there's no images with that. It's just an app. It's whatever you think it is. So that that's where I started, and. Uh, I feel like there are other people thinking about this at the same time about uh, about creationism because I'm, I'm sure y'all know about R. Crumb. He's put out this comic book on Genesis, and so um, you know I thought okay, and and so the, I started thinking about creationism and the in the in the in terms of the biblical idea, and continued <coughs> excuse me continued to work on that, and then in the process of thinking about creationism in terms of the biblical idea or biblical creation. Then I started thinking about, and one day I was watching TV and there's this history documentary about the creation of the world, you know, in terms of how it was made, just uh, this, this piece of, of matter in the, in the universe and how this piece of matter evolves and then how life comes from that. And that, that moved me from the biblical idea of creation to the, the bigger picture of geological time. You know, you may think of it as the black hole or space personified. So this is, this is space, so creation. When it, and of course, this is the final, this is creation. This, this represents the energy of creation, almost like a, a plant form, and the sun, and the growth and life. So, um, um, so that's my history. Uh, my, my, my paintings um, are I usually I, I like any kind of medium but I usually prefer uh, uh, oil paint is what I usually end up uh, working in but it, to me it doesn't really uh, have that big of consideration uh, I'm usually really painting also and, and uh, drawing I still draw a lot and uh, I feel drawing is a very intricate part of painting uh, um, 
find people that can usually draw pretty well and usually can paint pretty well. The reverse is not quite the same. Um, but anyway, I, I strongly believe in actually representational art, even though as you see I do a lot of abstraction. Um, I really don't differentiate things that are maybe about more about the nature of things than things in nature. Um, and always trying to speak to the human condition if I can. Um, anyway, uh, well, the next, my, my name of my show is called Betwixt and Between, so I've kind of brought back uh, much more figurative things in, these, in a couple of these paintings that I don't normally do. I'm usually pretty much this kind of painting, abstract. But um, like I said, I, I like those two paintings, so I decided to put them in. Any questions just by now?